So hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's your boy Convict. So welcome to our very first product review. Um, uh, first, first and foremost, um, I just want to tell you this video is not sponsored by anyone or by anything. Uh, we bought the items by our own personal money and from our own pockets. So um, except for this one though. Um, a big shout out to the guys from from <laughs> Just Wonder Guide. Um, it's a quality shirt product, shirts or apparels basically. Um, I'm wearing the black one right now. This came from the box. Just washed it, and they also have a white version. So if you want to order yours, you can get it from. You can either DM us. And then we'll direct you to Just Wanna Ride group. Or you can PM, DM, message um, Mr. Michael Pages for this brand. It's a good apparel. They're, they're new to the game and, and um, they're, um, what do you call this? They're only selling it to limited, yeah. To limit the number of people since every product is a limited edition so yeah so again welcome 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 to the very first product review um, today we'll be reviewing the um, HJC Arfa 70 um, it's a sports touring helmet so yeah okay so first uh, let's start off with ah uh, how long I've been using this one um, I've been using this one for quite some time now I got this sometime around October last year 2020 and I've been using this a lot for vlogging for touring even for long rides um, this helmet is pretty much up there it's really good um, so yeah so let's get to the product details uh, don't mind my cheating notes <laughs> so all right so the product details uh it's Darfa a series sport. um darfa 70 is a compact light lightweight as a result of it, the premium integrated matrix plus it's a type of shell the shell that they're using it's called uh pim plus it's the uh, premium integrated matrix uh, provides shock resistance with reinforcement materials that includes carbon, carbon glass hybrid, and, and uh, carbon glass hybrid fabric. Okay, for the specification, sizes, uh, visor, and repl replacement parts, I'll be posting it somewhere up here or down here. So, no, 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 that, that down here, not down there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, for the, for uh, this helmet, Basically, of course, it has a starter ECE. Um, it's a ECE 22.05 20, approved. Testing includes energy and en energy attenuation, penetration resistance, chain strap, structural integrity, and labeling requirements for on-road motorcycle helmets. So it's again, 30. the helmet is made from uh, PIM Plus, the Premium Integrated Matrix Plus type of shell. Uh, it's it has reinforcement materials including again carbon carbon glass hybrid fabric provides enhanced shock resistant performance for a more con comfortable and right and lighter helmet so now we go to the visor um, as you can see um, I changed the visor into blue since you know it <laughs> it blends well with the helmet and as you can see I've got or I've already got stickers on my helmet so, um, for the visor, all, a all HGC shields offer 99% of UV A and B protection. Uh, about that, we'll research more about that. We'll talk about more of that somewhere in this timeline. So, it has a 2D flat shield, comes equipped with a tier of post. But, it's sold separately though. What they, what they came up with, especially in our market, is they, they had the... Um, they included us the Pinlock 120. So 
if you don't know what a, a peel off is, it's basically the same thing as um, the ones that are being used in motocross. Um, those plain sheets that's that's on the goggles that they just tear it off. That's why hence they bought tear off. And then also, um, if you've seen NASCARs lately, they've been using also tear offs on their windshields because it's better than cleaning it. It saves more time than just tearing it off. So, yeah. So it has a now um, they have a center clip using this one. It's really secure. It's I, I like this one, but but the only problem I got this with this one is when I'm using the GoPro when I'm vlogging. Um, this is an issue for me because I have to like as you can see you can you really need to have small fingers and then also um, yeah the trigger system the way you release your visor or your shield is you use this trigger system uh, this has a for me it's it's good and bad because yeah it's good that you can easily take it out. Well, a lot of other other helmets, AGVs, um, AGVs for example, you can easily take it off. But my issue with this one, the system that they use is pretty much for me. For me, huh? For me, it's it's too um, the way it's made. It's too flimsy. So yeah, so now we go to the uh, the inner visor. This has a inner visor because of course it's a touring helmet. So for the touring visor, there's a there's a what do you call this? There's a there's a mechanism here that you use to pull it pull it up and down. The good thing about this one is when you're not using it, you can really lock it. So there. Yeah. So it's good. It's better than some of the helmets that I know that has a drop-down visor and it's not even securely. It's not even secured properly. Sorry for this one though, because I'm not using it as much. So you know, there's a lot of dust. I guess hence I'm using the colored visor. So yeah, it's a anti-fog coated system. Wait, yeah. It's a anti-fog coated smoke tinted visor. Deplo deploys quickly and easily from the bottom. Uh, by bottom position, new operation system. So yeah. So now we move on to the fabrics. The fabrics. Um, I couldn't remove mine though, cause um, I already have. I'll just post a picture of this, cause I cannot remove mine now, cause. I got my cardo and the mics inside, so I already got a system inside, so I cannot easily take it out. But if it was wasn't there, it, if it wasn't there, this would be easy as hell. So it's a advanced antibacterial fabric provides enhanced moisture wicking and quick drying function. Um, I could really, really be a witness to that. Um, Normally during after heavy rains, um, after every long ride, I wash my 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 cheek pads, everything that's removable from the helmet. I wash it. Um, uh, it dries up in what th um, 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, basically. I mean, it doesn't drip anymore, but still not usable. But better than other of my helmets. It's better, it's still better. So yeah. So now we move on the Yeah, every every helmet has this except Arai. Sorry, Arai, I love you, but you know. Um this has an ACS, a advanced channeling ventilation system. Um meaning that if we remove this, if we cut this in half and then remove the pads, you can see you can see that there's tunnels here running throughout the helmet yeah so they got really good ventilations they got this one the upper part is the most helpful one and you got one here on the chin i don't know if you can see it since there's a gopro here and then the exhaust 
Yep. This controls, by the way, the exhaust ones controls whether where you want your air to be coming in from the front. I think. <laughs> so now for the ARFA features. The ARFA features is um, the emergency kit. It has, I think now nowadays, most of the helmets has these where you can just pull this out directly if it's if it's in a, if it's a emergency situation like a fallen rider and then of course the you don't want to move the the head around so basically if you're having a hard time removing the helmet from that rider so you can just pull this out and that the good thing is HJC gave us um, extra pins just just in case you want to try it out and then just pull it out and then the, basically the pins inside will break so what they did they gave us additional additional pins for that so that these things can still be usable after the testing if you want the testing i don't know it's de depends on you so again uh with um arfa arfa features um this one uses wait before i forget the good thing also about hjc is they cheap what they did is they used the same uh, fiber on their straps so meaning this also dries up as quick and it's also antibacterial so it doesn't smell that bad so they use a well a deering most sports touring or high-end helmets use a deering and then for me also having a deering is you can it's safer for me just rather than using the those clip-ons or whatevs it's kind of hard but well you'll get used to it the more you use it so for the weight it's weighing in uh 1485 grams basically it's a um, not so heavy helmet it's still there from the lighter lighter side of the helmets that i know um um yeah so um again for the ventilation ah uh, yeah so that's it for the weight yeah so now we go on for the ventilation the ventilation for this helmet again there's three of them there's one in front two three okay so it's it's also uh with about this one ab ab about the upper part of uh ventilation um it's a good and a bad bad um system because if you can see it it's it's it, it it feels like it's not that well made i don't know um for me this can easily break but it's really good the ventilation is really way up there i've been using this helmet for quite some time now i've been using it on different bikes um on my gsa 1250 on an s1000 double r um a harley a x max um x max scooter 300 a um on a mts a a mts enduro 950 and a ducati monster 1200 um so yeah before i forget i would like to thank you uh, uh my friends who led me who lent me the Ducati bikes for that and my cousin my cousin for the my cousin for the my cousin for the other bikes so yeah so talking about ventilation about this thing is my only issue with this is I uh, with the only the only bike that for me that it's not meant to be used on is the um, uh, the sports bike because on the sports bike normally your head is uh, it's it's a bit tilted down so the vent this vent here w the way it's positioned wouldn't align on where the air passes from your bike so normally on a sports bike uh, your head is positioned this way and then there's when you go when you go fast so you you go down and then your windshield is here so the air doesn't skips this part of your helmet 
So the air doesn't go through this part, especially never mind the mouth part. So yeah, so I think uh, even on the monster, on the monster it's fine because there are really times that you can just straight up, straighten up your body and then everything goes through there. So yeah. Um, on the GS, it's fine. On a, any adventure, uh, any adventure bike, this is really good. This is really good. Um, I really don't mind uh, the way you position your head because you can just change your position at any given time. Because it's for fuck six, it's a adventure bike. Sorry for that. So yeah. So for me now, um, uh, again we go to the visor. So for me. With that being said, with everything that's being said with the visor, what I don't like about the visor is, um, with this one I'm using, I don't know what it's called, it's the radio blue or I don't know. I'm using the blue one. So as you can see, you can see in a span of what, uh, safe to say six months, you can really see this part here the color is already fading. Yeah, and I've noticed this one um, from um, after two months of using it daily. No, not daily. Like three times a week of raiding. So, yeah, that's what I don't like about this one. And then, yeah, but the pin lock, it's no issue because you can just change the pin lock at any given time. You can change the pin lock to any pin lock that you want. And then, yeah, and then the triggers again, it's an issue for me. Uh, it's not that sturdy. The way it's made, it's very, very. I don't know. But it's fine. It works. And then for the fastening, it's a double deering. I've already said that. And then for the fit, for the fit, ah, yeah. They got good sizing. I'll give you that. They got really good sizing. But the problem is. Um, upon putting on the lid, for me, this part here, this part here, it's too thick. So every time I have to, every time before wearing the lid, I really, really need to spread this like that and then wear it. So that's my only issue with the fit. But, um, but from... Uh, the more I wear it, it's comfy. I got no issues with it. Long rides, whole day rides. Um, I got no issue with this one. Uh, using my GSA 1250, I got no issue with this one. Uh, it doesn't give me the, um, the neck troubles, the back troubles, or head, any headaches, or any issues, uh, any issues at all. I don't, I really, really love this helmet with the fit and everything. And then for the noise, um, I got a full system on my bike, and then I know I don't have a full system on the GS. Uh, on the GSA, I only have a sleep on on that, and then on the S one thousand, it has a full system. Um, the noise, it has a GP, it has a GP, GP exhaust. So um, for the noise, um, I don't know. It's it's for me, it's bearable. People say that it's it's noisy, but on my use on this one. Um, I'm really comfy with this. The noise level is not that much. It's good. It's good enough for the price that we're paying. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good enough. So, in conclusion, for me, this helmet can really be a daily helmet. Can be a sports touring helmet. <laughs> Hence, uh, since it's really for that, um, for the price that we're paying, um. This costs around twenty thousand pesos plus plus. Um, uh, I forgot how much I got this. Uh, I, um, it's, it cost me around twenty pesos, uh, twenty thousand plus plus. Uh, for me, for that amount that we're paying, the twenty pesos, the twenty thousand pesos helmet for a twenty thousand pesos helmet, this is really good. Um, it can really com compete. HGC can really compete with other brands out there, Shoei, Arise. Um, Schubert's, especially on the touring, on the touring side of the motorcycling, um, this can really compete. But I wouldn't recommend this for track because there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of other um, helmets out there, 
if you still want an HGC for the Trek, you can also you can always go for R five elevens, um, R five elevens or other brands. There's a lot. Um, uh, what else? Um, during rain, this is fine. Um, I could really trust this helmet during long rides, even at night with this one, with a uh, with a um, iridium blue. Uh, even the even though that they there's a warning here for daytime use only even the pin lock it's it's being marked as daytime use only so yeah so i think that's it that's it that's it for this helmet um um oh yeah before i forget um this helmet also um already supports um any comm system as you can see here i'm using my card my cardo pack top bowl um they have they they already have um what do you call this you can there's a liner inside that you can remove that you can put your speakers there so again all in all this helmet is pretty good um for the price that you're paying for the price for the price that they are that they are oh uh, i mean for the price that we're paying this helmet is really good for twenty thousand pesos this helmet is really good but you don't get this now this is additional I forgot how much you know but it's a it's a plus plus but all in all this helmet's really good um if uh if you ask me if i would recommend this one yes i would really recommend this helmet um yeah and even on daily i use this more than my ri my ri i reserve it for very long 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 rides like between islands i use that but for here long night i mean long night long night drives i mean rides this helmet's really good so yeah i guess that's it for us guys um thanks again for for watching this video i hope you like this video so please like subscribe and share and for our next um item to be reviewed i think it would be the Kriga r3 belt bag or the jackets i don't know i'm still you know deciding which one so if you want more more what do you call this if you want more products to be reviewed um dm us or comment down below which products you want us to review and we'll try we'll try to get a hold of those products since you know we don't have any sponsors or anything and then yeah also we'll be starting with uh bike reviews we'll be adding bike reviews to the channel so yeah so we'll see you guys and thank you